Shalom, first and foremost. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rikar Kodash. Going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity to the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations and to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago. And uh want to hop into a quick lesson going into the medicines out of the earth. All right. So let me flip this camera around. So I got a couple of um, herbs and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Disclaimer. All right. Um, I am uh, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving any medical advice. Just um, my opinion. All right. Because they're going to try to. When, when you come out with things like that, they look for any uh, reason to try to, to ban your channel. So again, I'm not a physician or a doctor, and I am not giving nobody any medical advice. All right, I'm just uh, showing the, the herbs and the oils that I have and that I use. All right, so just to get that disclaimer out of the way. All right, so let's start with the scriptures. Let me see. Uh, let's go to. All right, let's start in Genesis. All right, Genesis 1 and 29 says, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you, it shall. To you, it shall be for me. All right. So, the Lord gave us herbs, you know, fruit from the tree, etc., to to be consumed. All right. We could eat these things. Um, as a matter of fact, um, people uh, abhor, which means they like they they uh, you know, they stay away from these things who moralis um if you want the answer you'll stick you'll stick around i'll give you the answer stick around to the end of this lesson and if you're still here i'll answer your question if not you could uh go to the next live nonetheless um you know you you'll tell somebody oh try taking this herb try taking this you know to make yourself feel better and and they'll be like what oh they'll be like um, no, I'm good. I'm just going to get me some aspirin or some Tylenol or something, you know, <laughs> like instead of taking what's natural and what God gave us to take, you know, people will rather go to the to the store and, and buy these over the counter drugs. All right. And um, rather use that instead of what God gave us to use. This is. um. All right. Yeah. Check this out. This is um First Timothy 5 and 23. It says, Drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake and thine and thine often infirmities. So you could also drink a little bit of wine, you know, for certain um infirmities you may have. All right, because uh the wine comes from uh the the grapes of the vine. And you want to get yourself some good wine. Don't get no bottom shelf don't get yourself no bottom shelf uh white wine no you want to get some you want to get some red wine all right that red wine is what's good for you all right and like they said like they say uh they say what uh um health is is wealth you know so hey guess what you're gonna have to spend some of that money all right to get these things these things are not cheap all right these things are not cheap at all I was uh at the store and I put a um bought three or four items it came up to those freaking seventy eight dollars for like four four things as a matter of fact let me go grab something I almost forgot one more
All right. Forgot to put this in the mix. All right, this stuff right here is, I've been taking this recently and it's uh it's been doing me good. Let me put it in the back over here. All right, so, um, you know, you could drink a little bit of wine too. Somebody put, what's ashwagandha? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna touch on a couple of these things and, you know, hopefully you can see the names and I'm gonna go over what, you know, for the most part, what some of these things can do for you. And again, I'm not giving no medical advice. I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying what I've been taking and the the results. Oh, as a matter of fact, you guys are going to, you fellas, you're going to thank me later for this one. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Uh, let's go to uh, Psalms. Psalms 51 to 7. Purge me with hyssop. And I shall be clean, wash me, and I should be whiter than snow. So hyssop is good as well. Hyssop is a, a good disinfectant. You know, you could use it um, to disinfect things like cuts or whatever. And uh, it also has some oral benefits. You want to make sure you get... Uh, I don't take none of these two orally, all right, um, which you still can. But you want to make sure you got some legit... Um, um, what's the word? Some like legit ones that you could take orally, even though th that's still legit. It's a hundred percent, you know. But uh, I use it for uh, the what is that aromatherapy as well? That goes into something else. But um, the benefits of hyssop, all right, is uh, I look this I look this up online. It goes into uh, you know you could reduce your risk for ulcers. And it also reduces your age related related conditions, uh, cataracts, heart disease and strokes, you know, so. Try, uh, you know, try getting yourself some of these things, take them daily, you know, and hey, you'll see, give it about a it don't it don't happen overnight. You know, you ain't just going to, you know, take a drop and then it's going to work instantly. You know, you got to understand the foods we've been eating. All right. For one, you shouldn't be eating no f McDonald or no damn Burger King and Wendy's like stay away from these fast foods. Stay away from them. If you can get go to go to the grocery store and buy a buy, buy a salad, you know, like try to get something healthy. You know, these these processed foods is what's really jacking up our health, you know, so it's going to take some time for. um for your your health to bounce back up. Shoot, as a matter of fact, I forgot one more thing. I just thought about it. Here it goes. See if you can see. I'm gonna put it right here. All right. So, uh, you know, uh, your your health is off of what you eat. You know, stop eating junk food. You eat junk food, you going you are what you eat. All right. So, it takes some time for for some of these uh, remedies to take effect. All right. Let's hop into the next scripture. Um, this is, uh, let me see. I read that. All right. This is, uh, first Corinthians three and 17. It says, if any man defile the temple, you know, let me, let me go back. Let me see. Verse 16. It says, know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. So we are the temple. All right. We are a spiritual brick of, of the, the, the temple of God. All right. So your body is is the temple. All right. And, and the spirit of God dwells in us. Right. Verse 17, it says, if, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. 
for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. All right. So you can't be putting junk in your body. All right. Yeah, I get it. You might have a day where you, uh, you know, you you go and grab something quick and it, it might not be the best, but try to keep that on a minimum. All right. And and if you start trying to eat better foods now, now the earth is defiled because of the inhabitants thereof. So we can only, you know, uh, uh, pick the lesser of the poison. You know, our, our vegetables still got pesticides sprayed on them, et cetera. Right. All right. So um, just throwing that out there, because uh, the scripture says we're going to eat our bread defiled amongst the, the, the Gentiles, roughly paraphrasing. All right. And uh, we're going to eat in shambles. So the best of what you can do, you're going to notice if you start making your own food, uh, uh, choosing healthier uh, um, alternatives, you're going to notice a difference in your overall energy, your strength, etc. All right. Um, so you got to take care of your body. That's why in America, it's like one of the leading places of obesity because <laughs> people just uh, it's a we live in a microwave generation. Everybody wants everything quick, you know. So uh, I got one more and then I'm going to read a little bit of what I got. All right. So let's go to uh, Ciroc. All right. This is Ciroc 38. Verse. We can read at one. I'm going to read quick read through it quick it says honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which ye may have of him for yahweh hath created him all right so of his a physician is a healer you know they know oh you got this wrong with you take this you got that wrong with you take that and the and the lord is the one who uh created him the lord is the one that gave that person the breakdown all right. And guess what? You it's, it's nothing for you to do a quick little Google Google search on how to treat certain affirmities you may have with natural healing. All right. Natural things. It says, um, you know, let me get this dude out of here. He's freaking goofball. You know, you get blocked. You know, I normally don't block people, but just dude, shut up, dude. This is a uh, verse two. For uh, for of uh, the most high cometh healing and he shall receive honor of the king. So ultimately, the healing comes from God. All right. So you could take all the herbs you want. It's ultimately up to God to heal you. But again, well, we're going to read it in verse four. He's the one who who created things that come from the earth to all right, give you these natural uh, healings. All right, so this is back in Sirach 30, uh, 38, and now we're in verse 3. It says, The skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of great men he shall be in admiration. Yahweh, the Lord, hath created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. All right, so God gave us what we need for our bodies all right to deal with whatever we got to deal with out of the earth but here it is oh let me just take some tylenol let me take an aspirin let me get some of that pet mobismal oh let me you people want that quick which in reality those things don't even um help the the situation it only it only um um coats your symptoms all right it only coats it it only makes it feel like it's not there but guess what it's still there all right all these over-counter uh medicines and prescription pills that our people use in all reality if if you were to take this faithfully daily hey this will get you right this right here will get you right all right and this was from a from a plant, uh, I think it's called the 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 cumin, the cumin plant. All right, but hold on, let's keep on reading. So, so if you're wise, you will not abhor 
the medicines that God gave us from the earth. And again, I'm not a doctor. All right. I'm not prescribing or um, what's the word that they like to use? Um, whatever. I'm not I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you what I what I take on the daily. All right. And what it does for me. All right. Uh, it's my own advice. Uh, let me see. Uh, t -t -t -t. Verse five was not the water made sweet with wood that the virtue thereof might be known. So even in uh, in the wilderness. All right. There was the bitter waters. You couldn't drink it. You couldn't drink that water. But guess what? I forget exactly what type of wood it was. But God told Moses, hey, throw this this type of wood inside the water. And guess what? It neutralized the water. All right. And that's that's wood. So knowing having the knowledge of certain things, certain plants is really only going to benefit you. All right. So um, let me see. Where did I leave off at? Uh, verse six. It says, and he had given men skill that he might be honored in his marvelous works. All right. So God is the one who gives us certain men understanding on how to use and what to use in what situation. Verse seven. What such what such doth he heal men and taketh away their pains or such that doth the apoc the apothecary apothecary make a confection which somebody who makes medicines right and of him and of his works there is no end and from him is peace over all the earth my son in thy sickness be not ne negligent but pray unto yahweh the lord and he will make thee whole so not only is it wise to take these things right Certain, this is just this is just not even scratching the surface. This is just a fr not even a fraction of what God got for us. All right. But um, you got to pray. You got to pray for God to heal you. You got to pray to God. All right. Prayer is a very vital, important weapon in this truth. All right. It's a it's a it's a part of our defense. All right. Pray. The scriptures say what? Pray without ceasing. All right. So you got to ask the Lord to heal you. You could be taking all of this and it won't work. You know, so you you ultimately got to pray to to the heavenly father through his son. All right. Yahweh, uh, the father through his son, Yahweh Shai, because really God ain't dealing with us. He's he's dealing with Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh Shai is the one that's dealing with us. He said, ask him my name and I will give it to thee. All right. So um, you got to You got to be prayed up. All right. It says uh, I'm going to read that again because that's this is vital right here. My son in thy sickness, be not negligent. Right. Don't be don't neglect what the physician is telling you, you know, so you got to take take what the physician recommends. But it says, but pray. All right. That's the point. Let me see. Uh, okay, so that's a little lesson I had for the most part. Now, as far as uh, certain things, now somebody, let's start in the back here, right? Chlorophyll, I haven't used it yet, but it's uh basically what what uh the plants produce. All right, um, the chlorophyll is like um people say plant blood. You know, but uh, it helps out with uh, with weight loss. All right. If you if you want to, um, you know, try to lose some weight, it uh, boosts up your your red blood cells. You can just put this in smoothies, put this in your smoothies, you know, it, it um, boosts red blood cells. All right. It uh, it heals damaged skin, neutralizes toxins. It cuts off inflammation and prevents cancer. And again, this is what the, this is what Google said. All right. Not what I'm saying. This is what Google said. But those are some of the benefits of taking chlorophyll. All right. This is basically plant blood. All right. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, it's what helps photosynthesis from the from the sun. It helps the plants receive 
the photosynthesis from the from the sun. And uh, somebody was saying, um, I forget who it was, but he, he says if you basically get a lot of this in your body, uh, you will get more energy from the sun because the chlorophyll is going to help you um, with the photosynthesis from the sun. So it's basically like the sun is feeding you. All right. When you get this in your system. Now, uh, this is my favorite. All right. The black seed oil. All right. This is this is my go to. This is something you should be taking uh, every day. All right. This black seed oil, something you should be taking every day. All right. Basically, this stuff is the according to some people, they say this cures everything. All right. This is what they say. You know, this is this is not what I say. But uh, let's see what it says. Uh, here it goes. Uh, oh, it doesn't really say too much. All right. But from uh, what I do, um, I for the most part, I take it. Uh, uh, every morning, uh, 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 I take a fat ass teaspoon straight to the head. <laughs> the flavor, the the taste is real bad. It, it gives you a strong like, um, gives you a strong like bitter taste. All for 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 in reality, most of this is all bitter. It's real hard to take down. It's real hard to take down. So you might have to mask it with some juice or something. But um. Like uh, if I wake up in in the morning and I got that that sore throat, guess what? I'm going straight to the cabinet and I'm drinking that because that should have just kill it immediately. Damn near. All right. This helps with your blood pressure. Uh, if you're losing hair. All right. If you're, you know, uh, like, you know, you want to grow hair in whatever particular area. You know, it's known to, if you rub it on your skin to help you grow hair. Shoot for guys. Amen. If you're having problems with your man's downstairs, all right, you're having problems with the uh, uh with your other head, hey, this right here, take this faithfully. Hey, you can even rub it, rub it uh like lotion on your on your you, you know your your man's down there, you know, and your girl's gonna thank you. <laughs> Look it up yourself. All right, your girl's gonna thank you for uh, for taking this internally and externally. All right, use it as a lotion on your uh, your um, your your private parts, and uh, you'll you'll thank me later. <laughs> give it about uh, give it about two weeks faithfully. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, oh yeah, this right here. This is something too, and this is this one's potent. This one's five hundred parts per million. All right, so uh, colloidal silver. This is basically. Um, like real silver infused in in uh they use distilled water all right because you got to use distilled water when you make colloidal silver because uh distilled water has nothing in it all right no particles no nothing it's basically like uh i wouldn't say dead water but it's basically like water with nothing in it all right it, it everything gets uh taken out of it so then they uh, basically like electrocute silver into the water and then you get this uh, you get this weird like color and it has to be in like a, a dark container because it could uh, lose its potency. You want to keep this in the dark. You could lose its potency in the light. But um, so this one is 500 parts per million. This is some strong stuff. Now you can get yourself some cheap stuff. That has 20 parts per million, right? You can get 20 parts per million. It's going to run you a big bottle, right? Like probably like 20 ounces or so. It's going to run you about 20, 30 bucks. Something like this will run you. Uh, no, you could probably get it for about like uh, 15, 20 bucks. But if you get something potent like this, it's going to run you a pretty penny. All right. Depending on uh, what brand you get. But this one was about like 50 something bucks. This right here. All right. This uh, it's good to take. Um, you got an earache. Drop it in your ear. All right. You got a pink eye. I had pink eye. I dropped this in my eye. One drop, and it basically uh, murked the pink eye. Then uh, in one day, you could take this orally. How I take it is, uh, I like to put it um, about like five drops or so underneath my tongue. 
and like wish my uh, saliva underneath my tongue because this gets into your bloodstream. And what the what the silver does is is it, it attaches itself to your blood your blood cells, right? It attaches itself to your blood cells, and whatever um, so called like uh, virus or disease you have, it it attaches itself to the blood cell and it suffocates whatever uh, is connected to that blood uh, cell. All right. So um, back in the day, people used to put. Um, whole silver coins in their in their milk there was no refrigerators and that uh that pure silver coin would um you know preserve that milk now you don't even need to get this if you got say if you got a um like a real solid silver coin you could just get a get like a, a toothpaste that's uh no fluoride you could you could uh brush your toothbrush with the toothpaste on there and then brush your teeth with it and it is because it's it's real silver that silver will still get into your bloodstream through your mouth but this right here oh and uh i'm gonna say warning and this is a little testimony on my behalf this right here you're gonna it, it, i just i missed a vital point this cleanses your pineal gland all right this cleanses your pineal gland all right and uh it, 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 it uh because our pineal glands are uh, calcified from all the dang fluoride that this damn devil's been pumping into our our water system all right so what it does is it makes your your pineal gland is like um it's like a acorn all right i don't know if you've seen some of them they fall off of the 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 trees and when it's real cold the cone the, the cone is like it looks like it's closed but in certain times when you catch it the that that cone will be opened up and it has like those little sharp ridges on it so some of them be closed up that's what your that's what your pineal gland which that's in the in in your brain basically they call it your third eye uh, from all the fluoride and the Colgate toothpaste and the damn fluoride in your in your water, whether you drink it or take a shower in it, right? This is what it looked like. But this right here will get it where it opens up. And guess what? When it opens up, you're going to start having vivid dreams. I'm talking about movies. You're going to be having movie dreams where you wake up like, man, I was flying and well... I seen a, I seen a lot of stuff. The Lord, the Lord showed me a whole bunch of uh, bugged out visions. So I try to take this like uh, once uh, every couple of days or so. I don't take it daily anymore. And I take a lesser dose of it because you're going to have you're going to have a lot of dreams. If you don't dream, if you don't dream, take this stuff and watch how, how, how that's going to change. All right. Now, um. I got this stuff right here, beetroot powder. Now you can get juice. All right, if you get the juice, you're gonna be ready to be next to a toilet in about an hour or so. You're gonna be uh, doodling red. <laughs> All right, this is uh, you can buy the the beetroot itself and eat it in your food. All right, it's like a real red uh, color. I take the powder. And uh, I mix it in my uh, protein drinks and stuff like that. But this right here, all right, it helps with um, circulation and blood pressure support. So that's going to uh, help with that. And it uh, natural energy and stamina. Now, I've been uh, taking this daily and uh, it helps me get through the day, through work and uh, to uh, get me to the gym as well. Because you'd be getting tired and stuff from work, you know. So this stuff right here is going to give you energy. And it's going to it, and it really, too, is going to help your stomach out, too, because I take a small amount. But if you get the juice, like an eight ounce uh, can of the, the juice, you're going to be on the toilet real quick. Now, the ashwagandha. All right. This stuff right here, man, this stuff right here, if you find it at the shelf. Hey, grab it. All right. This is going to run you about. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, this ran about like like 15 bucks. All right. And then this run, this runs about a good about a good like 15 bucks or so. It depends if you can get it on sale or not. 
but I normally just get the the store brand. All right, um, fellas. All right, this. Well, I'll start with the ladies. Um, this is gonna regulate your period, and it's gonna do everything else. It's gonna help with uh with your energy, for you men, your vitality. All right, that's your uh, you you wanting to get it on. All right, it's gonna help you get in the mood, and stay in the mood, and stress management. All right, so um. I've been taking, and this stuff is, man, this stuff is bitter. All right. I, I normally like to taste the black seed oil and I could do that. But this stuff right here, if you could even smell it, this is some potent, super bitter stuff right here. So what I do is I'll put like some apple juice. I'll take a sip of apple juice or some orange juice. And like uh, what I do, this is how I take it. I'll, I'll squeeze it, get as much as I can. Right. But then I'll turn it around. I'll squeeze it again and then re dip it and then let it go so I can get a whole vial of it. Right. This right here. Mad energy. Give it about uh, like a week or two. You're going to in the morning as, as as long as you can just get out the bed. By the time you're getting ready to brush your teeth, you're going to be ready for the day. This gives you mad energy. And again, men. If you're taking this with the black seed oil, that's two vitalities right there. That's going to help you. Uh, uh, you could be 40, 50. It's going to help you with your, you know, getting in the mood and staying in the mood. Now, this is the ashwagandha. No, not ashwagandha. I just showed you the ashwagandha. I meant the black seed. I meant black walnut. Now, uh, let me see. I got regular black walnut by itself. This is dumb. This is dumb bitter right here. This is definitely you're gonna need a chaser. All right. You can get all this at your your local vitamin store. This is this right here is freaking hella bitter. This is gonna help you get the parasites out of your stomach. All right. This is gonna help you get parasites out of your stomach. But I got the double whammy. All right, that black walnut and the wormwood. All right. This is going to help you um, get them parasites out of your stomach. Now, you can't take you just can't drink this stuff. This stuff is it's you could poison yourself. This is that strong. All right. What you want to do with the black walnut and wormwood. Uh, I think it's like seven drops or so. OK, once per day. All right. I normally do um, like I do a half of the the dropper all right because this got black walnut and wormwood in it it's super bitter this stuff is super bitter and that's what kills the parasites see the parasites wants you to eat the um the mcdonald's and get the the milkshake when you crave them sugars oh i want to get a milkshake oh i want to eat some of that cake oh whatever your desire is let me get that candy bar guess what it's those parasites in your intestine that's making you want to get those things. All right. So the reason why you eat food and you get tired right away. Oh, man, you just want to take a nap. You eat a whole plate of food. You're ready to take a nap. Not only you eat a whole plate of food, give it about an hour. You're hungry again. Why is that? For one, the food doesn't have the nutrients that it's supposed to have. OK, again, the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. And not only that. The food that you do eat, the parasites are taking all the nutrition away from you and they're taking it themselves. All right. And they're, they're, they really want you to eat them sugary things. Whenever you get that sugar craving, guess what? Those are the parasites releasing some damn chemical that goes into your brain and they, they basically control you. All right. That's a parasite. Those are in your in your stomach. Now, this basically gets it into your stomach where they they die from it. They can't live in a body who's who's uh having this stuff in its in its um in its system all right and, and then when you take a dump all right keep on take this good take take this daily as it says and and you you can't take it for one or two days and give up and then do it next week and then uh do it for four days and then give up no you gotta do it daily all right and then give it some time Keep an eye out on your doo doo. When you look down, guess what? You're gonna see. You're gonna see like some white gooey 
white glue gooey substance attached to your to your um your dung and guess what that that's the the, the dead parasite that just came out of your body all right i forget the, the the statistic but it's like freaking one out of like seven people got par intestinal parasites it's bugged out all right and that's from eating uh shit you can catch you can get that from eating uh pork not cooked properly all right that's why the lord said not to eat it all right we went over the hiss up uh the oregano oh wait i skipped the oregano now i like to take this um for uh it helps with immunity support oregano oil all right and uh i basically take it with my this stuff it burns you got to be careful all right especially this right here if you get this on your skin you could really dry your skin out this stuff is this stuff is some dangerous stuff you probably only want like one drop of this because it's it's real it, it burns all right it gives you that burn and again uh whenever i wake up in the morning and i feel that sore throat burning and itching when you swallow and it's like oh it really hurts i'll take a uh i'll go straight to the cabinet grab this pour this on the 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 t i'll take a tablespoon worth a big old tablespoon and then i'll take the uh, oregano oil and i'll pour me i can handle about three drops all right for the average first timer one that's it all right and then uh that your throat's gonna be on fire but that stuff is gonna be murking whatever you got chilling in your throat all right because it, it from from your throat what i notice when i get sick again i'm not giving i'm not a doctor i don't give any advice same for me personally when i get a sore throat and i don't like try to prevent it right away or whatever say if like um for the few the few times that i i do get sick you know I'll feel uh, the, the sore throat and then a day or two later, you start feeling it go down into your lungs. And then that's when you get the cough and the mucus coming out, you know, so you could you could murk some of these things real quick. If and if you take it daily, you know, you're lesser odds of it. Let me see. Uh, right here, the uh, the the Korean ginseng. Now, what I do is hold on, let me take a sip of some tea. Ugh, I meant water. What I do with this, um, I'll make a tea with it in the morning. Whether if I uh make a you know a cup of coffee, or if I make a black tea with some honey, I'm putting this in there. All right, it's a it's a it's in powder form, and you just mix it in there. All right, um, basically it helps with uh your immune system, and this one also helps with vitality as well for you men it helps with your vitality with the uh, erectile dysfunction all right this helps with erectile dysfunction so take if you if you're taking this stuff taking this stuff with the black seed oil for you men in the truth your girl gonna want you to have another wife she's gonna she's gonna be like you know what go ahead girl <laughs> Yeah, it helps with it helps with your overall health. At the end of the day, overall health, you know. But um, oh, last but not least, right now, this is what I'm gonna be on tomorrow. As you can see, it's uh, this is called the the duck flower. This is uh about fifty bucks. I got it at my local uh, well, not local, just where I work at this this website right here or i i went to the store but they got a website you might be able to order some stuff online you know call them but this stuff the duck flower the reason why it's called the duck flower let me look at let me let me show you a regular picture of it all right let me show you a picture of it, why they call it that All right, because it for them this is like uh, I think uh, this is grown in Jamaica and some other uh, places like that. Um, it looks like a duck, basically. This is when it's this is when it's not dried up. All right, this is a flower. This is this is when it's before it's dried up. See right here, this is a dehydrated version of that. 
all right so they basically dry it out it turns into this so it's preserved and then you take it so basically this is a detox all right it's always good to do a detox because um you know it you this again the foods everything is the file right so uh, I think uh, earlier this year I did like a it was like a five in one. It was like a lung, um, liver, intestines, colon and something else. I forget, like kidney or something like that. So, um, uh, you know, you want to do those. But this, like and, and those those detoxes could be a week, two weeks, a month. But this is a damn near. This is a one. This is a one day detox. All right. See, look, it It says it says a, it's a digestive detox, anti acidic, anti inflammatory, anti fungal removes mucus. All right. But see, look, at this is what's going to be happening to you. It says can cause vomiting and diarrhea more like it is going to cause those things, because guess what? This stuff is so potent that when it's in your body. It starts getting rid of all the mucus. It starts getting, I wouldn't say all, but whatever mucus it can get out of you, you know, because this right here, even if, even because it's dehydrated, it lost some of its potency already. So it ain't going to hit like if I had a fresh brand new one, like fresh off the plant, but it's still going to do what it do. Right. But um, you're going to be vomiting out all this, the junk in your, in your stomach, in your system, and you're going to be doodling all that toxic buildup in your intestines now they say you got about five to like uh 20 up to five to 25 pounds of toxic waste just sitting in your intestines all right this is gonna help get at least five out now some people report it losing up to uh i think i heard 20 pounds in this one day of this detox all right. Um, toxic waste from their body. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh myself. I'm about a buck ninety five. All right. And I believe I'm uh, just, to, you know, take note of it. I believe I'm going to uh, get rid of about five, you know, maybe more. I don't know. But I, I, I think I might uh, get rid of five pounds. But um yeah, this is a, a detoxer and I don't know. I think you should do it like once every like so often. I'm going to have to do some more research on it. All right. I forget the how long it takes. But um, yeah, it's going to help you get all the sweat out the mucus, cough up, uh, throw up the mucus. It's going to um, help you get rid of those parasites in your in your uh, intestines, in your stomach. And then uh, people report having, uh, you know, more energy, a clearer mind. All right. Uh, as a, an after effect. All right. So I'm going to end the, I'm going to end this uh, lesson. And again, you can take all these things. But if you ain't praying and having faith that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, could heal you through his son, you know, Yahweh shy. Now, hey, you could take this all you want, you know, and you'll still be uh, sick or whatever under the weather. But, you know, this is just a little small hand of the thousands of things you can you can you can mess around with. But uh, that's what I'm on for now. You know, I'll, I'll uh, give an update on this duck flower. But Lord willing, y'all were edified to next time. Shalom.